Today I want to talk to you about a new tea I discovered. Yesterday, um, my sister and I went to the city, and um, we were just like exploring. Like we really had no destination in mind, but um, like we were on our way. We were on Third Avenue, and we were on our way to David's Tea because I knew there was a David's Tea there. And um, we we came across this place called Kusmi Tea, and um, I was talking to the worker there. And apparently, this is the only location available in the states. It's um, one one thousand one hundred twenty four Third Avenue. That's the address, New York, New York. Um, in case you want to go, I um really like the packaging. It looks like this. It's really pretty, and like you can't really tell from the camera, but it's like kind of shiny and like holographic looking. Um, this the other locations are in Paris, and I think he said um, not not Paris, but like France and stuff. And I think he said that there was one opening up in, like, Moscow. Um, but this tea is um, Parisian. Um, uh, well, it's originally Russian. And the man at the store was telling me about how the um, owner of the tea had opened up. The, the founder of the tea place, Kus Kusmi Tea, had um, opened up a tea shop in Russia. But then when he discovered that, like, there were there were going to be problems in um, Russia because of like communism or revolution or whatever. He had relocated to France, and so um, this tea is the French and Russian. And this particular tea that I picked up is called spicy chocolate. I had to pick up 125 grams because that's the um, smallest amount you could buy there. Um, and I was excited to try spicy chocolate because I don't have a chocolate tea yet and I don't have a chai tea yet. And I'm assuming that since it's spicy chocolate, it's supposed to be like a little chai flavor in there. So I'm going to try it iced first. It's, um, it looks like black tea, honestly. Like if someone gave it to me and told me it was black tea, I believe it until I taste it, obviously. Hopefully. It tastes, I mean, it smells like chai. It smells like chai tea, which is good because I love chai tea. Yeah, it's really good. I don't really taste um the chocolate much of it. I taste a lot of the spice spiciness. Um, yeah, it's like chai tea. It doesn't taste like chocolate to me yet. And I'm gonna try it hot. For the hot one, I added um cream. I mean not cream. I added um whole milk and um a bit of German rock sugar from Tivana. This um the hot one smells a lot more stronger. It smells a lot more like chai. That's really good. Oh my god. This is, this is by far the best chai-ish. I don't know if it's, I should consider it chai because I don't know if it's chai or not. This is the best like spicy tea I've ever had in my whole life. It's so good. Oh my god. I can't wait to finish this. I will definitely return back. If I'm ever in the city again, I'm definitely returning to Kusmi Tea. Um, it's really good. This tea particularly I prefer warm. I think um, spicy teas in general taste better warm for me. And I forgot to read the... Um, description of this tea. So I will do so now. Okay. Kusmi spicy chocolate tea is produced by adding natural chocolate flavors and spices to rich Chinese black tea. This is undoubtedly the most original Kusmi's chocolate tea range. Spicy chocolate tea is a nod to the way hot chocolate was originally served. When it was first introduced to Europe in the 16th century, this drink was made from cocoa beans and spices. Sure, sure to delight all those who love tea and chocolate, serve hot in the summertime, iced for epic curian afternoons and not a single calorie in sight. We suggest to enjoy this tea during the afternoon. Main flavor. Simply yummy. Yeah. So I would my I personally prefer this hot and I would definitely buy it again. But I have so much of it because I could only the smallest one I could buy was 125 grams. But I recommend Kusni tea. Um I'm pretty sure you can just like if you don't live near New York City or Paris or Russia, you can um simply go online and order it. Alright, that's all. Thanks, guys. Bye.